Thank you for shopping with POL at performanceonline.com. Today we'll show you step-by-step -step how to install one-inch lowering blocks on a 1970 Plymouth Barracuda. Baba, ra, ra, cu -cu -da -da. Adding our one to three inch leaf spring lowering blocks is an easy and affordable way to improve the stance of your muscle car. You'll find the link to our POL kit in the description. You will need a three quarter inch wrench, a breaker bar, jack and jack stands, a hammer, a pry bar, and lube. We are using a lift, but if you don't have one, jack up your vehicle and put jack stands under the frame to give yourself ample room underneath. Supporting the rear end with a jack can help relieve pressure from the shocks and keep the rear end from dropping down. Use a 3 quarter inch wrench and remove the shock from the bottom shock mount. For a full tutorial on replacing your shocks, please watch our How to Install Rear Shocks video by clicking the link in the description. Remove the nuts from the U-bolts under the lower shock perch using a breaker bar and a three-quarter inch socket. If they're rusted and don't want to bust loose, you know, some uh, liquid wrench or, you know, something like that. Remove the perch and the old U-bolts. Jack the rear end up to relieve pressure against the leaf springs. You may need to use a pry bar to set it free. You've got a hole down here to keep the rear end uh, perfectly centered inside the wheel well. Okay. And then that one right there goes up into the rear end here and you can see the, the guide pin on this side it's gonna go in there and that'll just keep us uh, perfectly lined up. It is gonna wanna walk forward on you a little bit, you know, but once you put the, uh, the block in there, you can easily uh, just take the rear end and put it back. Insert the lowering block using the guides to line it all up. Slowly let down the rear end, making sure everything stays in line. Install the new U-bolts and replace the lower shock perch with the lower shock mount facing the rear of the vehicle. Evenly tighten all four nuts. Try to keep them even, you know, when you're tightening the stuff up and crisscross with your, uh, with your tightening. And you can just look, you know, down here, you know, on your threads itself. And that'll be your reference, you know, that you're tightening them up square. With these U-bolts, normally, you know, uh, they basically they double if you want to do, uh, you know, even a four inch block. So they come, they're a hell of a lot longer and you've got to cut them down. Uh, these have already been cut, you know, to the desired length beforehand. We don't recommend using a lowering block any larger than two inches and no larger than one inch for high powered applications. It's always easier tightening stuff up if you're pulling towards yourself because you get a lot more leverage and your body weight will, uh, will help you get it tighter. Reposition the shock back onto the shock mount and tighten the nut with your three quarter inch wrench. And just like that, your Barracuda has that aggressive hot rod stance. Thank you for visiting POL at performanceonline.com. Subscribe to our channel for more videos including replacing front and rear shocks, adding tubular control arms, and much more.